All right, so I just want to start out this video by saying super excited for you guys. Super proud of what you guys have done so far this year. And I can't wait to see how you do on this test. Super proud of how far you have grown so far this year. We have done place value, add in, subtract in, multiply in, divide in decimals, area models, bar tables. I'm just excited to see how far you guys have grown. And I'm so proud of the hard work that everybody puts in every day. And if you're watching this video and you watch all of my other review videos and you worked on the packet and you did the family letter with mom and dad or grandma or grandpa or uncle or whoever you did it with, you know, proud of you guys for putting in all this extra hard work and trying and growing. And I'm, I'm guarantee you it's going to show at the end of the year. You're going to be super excited about how well you do in math this year. But let's get to this quick video that we got at hand so we can get out of here. It's 430 and Mr. Savage wants to go home. So the first question is, which expressions have the same value as 400 times 5 and 4 tenths? Circle the letter for all that apply. The first thing I need to do is I need to solve this expression right here. So I'm going to write it out. 5, 4 tenths times 4 hundredths. I'm going to do 4 times 4 is 16, carry it a 1. 4 times 5 is 20, 21. And then all I got to do is I just got to count the digits to the right of my decimal place in both factors. So I got one, two, three. So I come down to my answer. One, two, three. So my answer is 216 thousandths. Now I need to come over here and circle every problem that equals 216 thousandths. Well, let's look at A. 216 times one thousandth. Well, I know one times itself. It's 216. And then look. Three places to the right of the decimal, that's going to give me 216 thousandths. So that's right. We'll look at here. Look at this. I already have 216 thousandths. But they're saying if I multiply it by another 100th, it's going to stay the same. No, that's going to get smaller. So I can cross that answer out right away. Check that out. Next, next question is 21 and 6 tenths times one hundredth well when i multiply by one hundredth or what so when i multiply one hundredth i'm just going to do 21 and six tenths times one is 21 and six tenths and then i'm going to move my decimal place two places to the left because i multiplied by one hundred so i'm going to go one two that is going to give me two hundred and sixteen thousandths that is correct Let's look at this. So I have 200, 2 and 16 hundredths, and I'm going to multiply that by a tenth. So I'm going to move my decimal one place to the left. Well, that's the same. That's That would be 216 thousandths. And let's look at the last one, 216 times 100. Let's try it fraction form. 216 over 1 times 1 over 100 Check this out, 216 over 100. That's an improper fraction, but I know that's greater than 216 over 1,000. So that can't be it either. So my answer is A, C, and D. <coughs> Excuse me, but let's keep moving. So next question is, Amber divides power of 10 using exponents. She says that 3 tenths divided by 100 decreases the value of 3. Do you agree with Amber? Explain your thinking. So I already turned this into the form 10, in, 10 to the second power is 100. So first thing you guys should do is just write out that problem. 3 tenths divided by 100 equals something. Now this problem is actually not asking us to solve it. We just have to say, does it decrease the value of the 3? Well, the 3 is in the tens place. So if I divide that by 100, I'm gonna, whenever I divide, my number gets smaller. Remember that. Whenever you divide, you get smaller. If you have three-tenths of a pizza and you share that with 100 people, you guys might not even get a whole pepperoni off the pizza. So that automatically just says, I don't need to solve it. I know it gets smaller. But if I was going to solve that, in order to solve that, all you're going to do is you're going to shift the decimal two places to the left because you have two zeros and a hundred so all you would literally do is one place two place 
So your new decimal is three tenths divided by a hundred becomes three thousandths. Now I don't know about you, but I would rather have three tenths of the pizza box than three thousandths of the pizza box. At least with three tenths, you might get a whole pepperoni. But remember, we didn't even have to solve it. We just had to explain our thinking. Tell, tell, tell them why do you agree with Amber? How do you know it will decrease the value of the three? Well, the value of the three is going to go from the tenths place to the thousandths place. All right, and now let's move on to the final question a lot of you guys struggled with. Amanda and Paul use an online tool, an online tool to time how long it takes to download songs. Amanda records a download time of four and five hundred seventy-five thousandths minutes for her song. Paula records a download time of four and five hundred sixty-five thousandths of a minute for her song. Label the number line below with hundredths. Then mark and label two points to show Amanda and Paula's download time. Well, the first thing I have to do is I have to label, I have to label the number line. And it says label it to the hundreds. Well, let's see what they got. They already got some stuff because they got like four and five tenths, four and six tenths, and four and fifty-five hundredths. So remember, in between four and five, in between four and five tenths and four and six tenths, there's 10 spots. So this right here is going to be 4 and 51 hundredths. 4, 52 hundredths. 4, 53 hundredths. 4, 54 hundredths. Oh, look, 4 and 55 hundredths. So right here is going to be 4 dot 56 hundredths. 4 dot 57 hundredths. And it's really hard for me to write this small. 4.58 hundredths. Right here is 4.59 hundredths. And that becomes 4 and 6 tenths or 4 and 60 hundredths. Just like this could be 4 and 5 tenths or 4 and 50 hundredths. Okay, now the next part of my problem says mark and label the two points that show Amanda and Paula's time. Well, Amanda's time is 4 and 575 thousandths of a minute. Well, so we only have a number line to the hundredth. So let's look to the hundredths place. Four and fifty-seven hundredths. Well, four and fifty-seven hundredths is right here. But I know there's a five in there, so it's about half the way to four and fifty-eight hundredths. So right there is going to be, and I'm going to put an A for Amanda. Then for Paula, it's four and fifty five hundred sixty-five thousandths, but I'm only going to focus it at hundredths. So four and fifty-six hundredths. Well, that's right here, and there's a five, so that means it's halfway between the six and the seven. Because if that five got to a zero, which would be ten, it would be four and fifty-seven hundredths. So I'm going to put that right here, and I'm going to mark that with a P. All right, and let's look at the last part. So I did all this, and now I'm going to come down to part B. So part B says complete the sentences about Amanda's and Paula's download times. Use the words and decimals in the box. Not all the items in the box will be used. So the first thing I need to remember is check this out. It's giving me a tip. I don't have to use all the items in the box. Some of them won't be used. As a matter of fact, there's only one, two, three, four blanks, and there's six terms. So they're already trying to confuse us. So let's just take these sentences one at a time. Round it to the nearest blank. Both times are the same. Well, what would I have to round it to for both times to be the same? So let's go back and look at our two times. We had four, 575 thousandths, and I had four, 565 thousandths. And if I was going to round, well, if I round to the nearest one, they would be the same because both of them would round up to five. If I round to the nearest... Tenth, they would also be the same because look, this would round up to six and this would round up to six. So they would both be four and six tenths. If I round to the nearest hundredths, they would be different because that would round up to an eight and that would round up to a seven. So I got to go back to tenths. So if I round these to the t nearest tenth, seven would round the five up. So I would go to four 
and six tenths. And six would round that five up, so I'd go to four and six tenths. So right here, round it to the nearest tenth. Both times are the same. Well, let's look at this. Both times are closer to blank than blank. Well, they only gave us two numbers. They gave us four and five tenths and four and six tenths. So both times are closer to, and I already did the rounding, four and six tenths, then four and five tenths. And then the final thing is C. Paula's download time is blank, then Amanda's download time. Well, let's look at this. Amanda's time was greater. Paula's time was smaller. But think about this. If Mr. Savage is racing against Mr. Potts, Sean type, would Potts rather run a shorter time or a longer time? If I was Potts, I would want to run a shorter time. So Paula's download time is shorter. So that would make Paula faster, or that would make Mr. Potts faster than Mr. Savage. Even though we know that's not quite true, but that's okay. So look, for Paula's time, even though it was smaller or shorter, that makes it faster. All right, guys, if you have any questions, ask me in the morning. Send me a message on Dojo, but here you go. This is uh, this is the final video for this unit, and I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. This quiz or this assessment, I think is going to do really, you guys are going to do really good on it. All right, see you guys in the morning.